We scored 97 goals last year. We let up eight. We lost a first-team All-State goalkeeper. We lost a first-team All-State striker. Is that going to be a drop-off? I'd be a liar if I tell you there's not going to be a drop-off. What you won't see a drop-off in is in our effort. You will not see a drop-off in in how we try to play soccer. Winning another league title with lots of new faces takes some teaching. 95% of the time, that was where we kept the ball. We're going to keep the ball 95% of the time there. What's open? We have to explain things a little more. You know, we don't have a veteran team, but it, it's coming It's coming slowly, but it's coming around the corner. There's not going to be a team that I coach that isn't going to step on the field with the passion and the energy and the technical side of, of what we do in pro side. Whatever other people think that we're not going to do good, we come out, we win stage, we win county semis, whatever. We come back, we re like coach says, we rebuild each year. We don't we lose, we just rebuild. Cliffside's biggest challenge is replacing all-state goalkeeper Pedro Sanchez. The one play that we can't afford to lose is Pedro. We get two young sophomores, young sophomores that are learning the position, that'll still be learning the position as juniors. We're hoping they can make the easy saves and control the box a little bit. The Red Raiders haven't lost on their home field in four years. They'll look to start off year number five at home against Fort Lee on Monday.